Well, we've been talking about it for months. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, it's the biggest community celebration of the weekend. And tonight marks the grand opening of the Sixth Street Bridge. It is the largest bridge project in LA history. CBS 2's Rick Montanez is live in Boyle Heights, where thousands have gathered for tonight's event. And Rick, this has been a long, long time in the coming. Oh yes, long time people have been waiting for this. There's a huge celebration today as this historic weekend continues right here on the brand new 6th Street Bridge. Again, this is the first time that the public can come and take in the iconic sights and design of the city's largest bridge project. Another day of celebrating in the shadow of the downtown Los Angeles skyline. This public party hosted by Councilman Kevin DeLeon's office started at 2 today and goes until 10 tonight. There is live music, there are food trucks, several vendors out here, and of course, the center of the party tonight is the bridge itself. The all-new 6th Street Viaduct opens to traffic tomorrow for the first time since 2016 when the old bridge was torn down. That original bridge, you'll remember, was built in 1932. Talking to people here today, they are excited for this new landmark. From the design to the accessibility it will offer as it connects Boyle Heights to the downtown arts district. I love the architecture. It looks like, you know, like ribbons kind of going across. And I like how they built all these like ramps so that you can oversee the, the river and the rail. We walk from one end to the other end. Um, it, it's just beautiful. It, it's beyond what LA needed, you know? I see it as a beginning, you know? And of course, it's another perfect Southern California day here for this big celebration. Ozo Motley will be headlining the music portion of the party tonight. There will also be fireworks at 9. And yesterday, as you might have seen on our newscast, there was a big party for dignitaries, city leaders, and people who worked on the project. And one thing that Mayor Garcetti talked about was the city deserving something like this, the city being excited for something like this. And I've got to say, talking with people out here, they really do feel like this is something that Los Angeles needed and it's something that they are really excited for, especially as it opens to traffic tomorrow. Reporting live in Boyle Heights, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.